my voice. So y'all bear with us. Um, I appreciate y'all being here and I really hope you had fun. For a second, um, before we get started, I want to give the mayor a chance to speak. Uh, Jimmy Faircloth is the mayor of Perry and he's here with us. He's going to be presenting the awards and I'm just going to give him a half a second to speak. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for coming out and supporting this great event. Thank you, Georgia Barbecue Association. Thank you, Audrey Evans, for yeah. all the hard work that he's done. Yeah. Great event. We look forward to hosting y'all again. If you have any trouble, see me. But y'all, this has been a wonderful event. Thank you for your participation and your interest. As a barbecue buff, you don't tell them to see you. That's what I was say. You don't want that. All right. Um, Miss Patsy from the Airport Authority. Is she, would you like to say anything? If you do, come, you're welcome to come up and say anything if you want to. While she's getting up here, I want to thank Robert Buckner for everything that he has put into this. Um, Robert is the gentleman that has been fixing your water, fixing your power, doing the trash. If it was not for Robert, there is no way I could have ever done this event. So if y'all see him, please thank him and let him know how much y'all appreciate it. Um, Sherry Adams and Susan Stewart that are over here right now, they have helped tremendously. And Melissa Romanlaw, um, Leonard Gagrich, these people are, are really good friends of mine. They're from here and there is no way, you know, without them that I could have done this either. Um, Danny Meadows handled all of our ancillary judging. Woo! I think everything's well there. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> yep, Audrey Coffin and Mandy Britton did all the inputting of scores and they took their day away from their husbands and then their teams to do this for me. So I really appreciate that because um, I know that's a lot on them to, to step away from that and do that. Um, all of our sponsors, thank you so much. Our vendors that are here, y'all please, if you had, hadn't had a chance, check them out. They've got some great stuff. Um, barbecue Superstars, Hot Rod TV are here. Thank y'all for coming down. GVA people, Jimmy and Pam, Greg Hoyt, Egg Vesley, and Mr. K. I appreciate it very much. I said Greg Hoyt. And Harry Faircloth. Very much. Um, and Miss Patsy and the mayor. I'm going to say something just for a second. Go ahead. And I just want to say thank you. Okay. I just want to say thank you to everybody. I never miss an opportunity to talk. Thank you to everybody for coming. You guys have been fantastic. We had such a great time last night and today. And I want to say thank you to Audrey because she's done such a lot of hard work. Give it up to Audrey. She's done a lot of hard work. Yay! And it's all together. She really has. So, thanks a lot. Oh, I believe she said all right. First off, I will do, I don't know how many of y'all were in it um, and how many were locals, but we have a drawing that Real Turf Solutions, which is one of our sponsors, and they had a booth up here today, um, that they did some drawings, and I have their winners. For a weed control, um, the drawing, it was Richard Henderson, and for four bags of fertilizer, Carrie Carcella. So if y'all are here, see, see Scott, and he'll get you taken care of. And at this point, we're gonna get down to the good stuff. I think I've, I think I've covered everything. Um, for your GBA point sheets, when we get to that, Miss Pam Nams has them. She's right up front. If you have not gotten your T-shirts, we have them here, and Melissa and I will be over here to help make sure y'all get those. If you did not get one and you want to purchase one, we have some extras, and I'm also making an order at the first of the week. So y'all let me know if you want them and you didn't get one, and we can definitely get you one. I can mail it to you by the end of next week. And if you didn't pick up a team bag, we've got team bags, we've got extra koozies down here if y'all didn't get one. And if you didn't get a paring knife and you'd like one, Mad Cow Cuddlery sent one for all the teams um, and everybody. So we've got some extras down here. Feel free to pick one up. All right, I think we're... I think I'm covered at this point, you think? All right. 
Mr. Harry, would you like to come say anything before we get started? No, 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 no. Okay, first of all, Mayor, help us. has anybody lost a set of keys that we found early this morning? If you do, come get them. <laughs> if not, keep quiet. <laughs> we would like to thank Audrey, the airport authority, all the sponsors that she had for this weekend's event. I think this turned out beyond anybody's expectations. And the GBA is certainly thankful for the opportunity to be part of this. And we would like to thank Daryl for being here with his group. Uh, and at the same time, all of you cookers that came out and cooked, this would never have been possible without you folks. We're very grateful for the judges that we had here. And at this time, Audrey, on behalf of Lane Cookers, they're presenting you with this model 736 smoker over here uh -huh. for you to take home to use at your abode at your pleasure uh -huh. Lang smoker. You heard it right here. Lang smoker just gave her a 36. So thank you very much Audrey for letting us participate we look forward to coming back next year and a fantastic event <laughs> alright is Brian out here from Lang? Yay, no. Do you know? Do you? Yay or no? Yeah. On on what we talked about. I just need to know before I get started. All right. We'll start off in the order that we did everything in turn ins. We're just gonna go through them in that order. Um. Start off fifth place margaritas is we cooking. And y'all need, if I call your name, you need to come up. We've got a certificate and or a check for you, depending on where you fall. So come pick up that stuff so we can get a picture with you with the mayor. We cooking. All right, fourth place margaritas. Oh, okay, I remember what his looked like. They were nice. I'm okay. I'm gonna go on and call, and y'all can come up, and we'll take pictures to keep it rolling. Fourth place margaritas, smoking swine barbecue crew. Smoking swine barbecue crew. All right, third place margaritas, smoking Willie squealers. Goes to DW's Country Cookers. Yeah. And just so y'all know, on the ancillaries, we are paying down to third place. First place gets three hundred dollars. Second place gets one fifty, and third gets seventy five. All right. First place margaritas. Aunt Mary's barbecue brigade. Whoa! Aunt Mary's barbecue wins the margarita. That was a tough one. I just enjoyed being there and sampling. Oh ho! Oh, that's uh. Oh, yeah. uh <laughs> that was more fun to sample. Uh, Baxter's Wood Original. Hey, they won. <laughs> he got some pineapples and cut it in the star. And uh, he put uh, an umbrella on it. He, he put salt around the rim. And you know what? I know exactly where it is on the video. We'll have that up for you to show you what the winning margarita looked like. And uh, I actually went in and shot him making it. So we've got video on him putting it together and that's that's really All right. neat. Oh, Stu, I had a little minor thing and I didn't print the certificates. So if y'all are in the <laughs> five and Stu, see me afterwards so I can get you your certificate. Fifth place is Smoking Willie Squealers. 
The front was two category. Fourth place is Dixie Q. Third place, Sunset Smokers. I call, they got a little boy that's about ten, six or seven years old up there. He's going to accept the award with him. And a really nice family picture. <laughs> Stu, right. 57 Smokehouse Barbecue. All right, 57 Smokehouse has got a uh, uh, blog or uh, a forum on Facebook. Just put 57 in the top and you'll pull it up. And uh, dang, they took second place in Brunswick Stew. We'll get you your certificate after. That's the only one I didn't get first. All right, people's waiting in line to get All right, and first place. Stew is Hog Daddy's Barbecue. Yes. Hog Daddy's Barbecue, one Brunswick Street category. <laughs> yeah, don't get confused. I'm up here today. I'm not down there taking pictures. Well, I want to tell you, Audrey <laughs> ran from one end to the other this thing. She really did a good job. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, there's one. <laughs> is Hog Daddy's Barbecue still here? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll hold on to their trophy and check. All right, for dessert, fifth place, Hog Daddy's Barbecue. Fourth place, Smoking Dillas. This is a first time team. Oh, fourth place in the dessert. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Third Mike place Mixon's brother is Q the Muzak. Oh, Marvin, Marvin, both his boys were competing this weekend. I did not see his other son. There he is. Uh, oh, now we do have a video with the Budweiser girls standing in Las Vegas, and uh, I believe he's standing right there beside both of them. <laughs> there he is. Marvin makes his other son now. Uh, Myron Mixon's other son is very intellectual. Uh, I think he's, he's got some kind of big college degree and uh, a little more refined uh, young man. And there he goes. I, didn't, I did not know he was picking it All right, second in dessert, Bubba Grills. Bubba Grills. And first place, y'all can go on and head up, Smoking Willie Squealers. Smoking uh -huh. Willie Squealers. They got to walk in all three of those ancillary categories, I believe. And there goes Lonnie right there. And there goes Lonnie. Now Lonnie from uh, Public Grills, she used to walk and he took first place in ribs at Memphis and May. And uh, a sharp fella right there. Now you can come get your truck, little man. Alright, the next category, we had a lot of judges start off their morning right, and they are very appreciative for the Bloody Mary, I can go on and tell you. They were pretty good. Fifth place Bloody Mary is Ray Scott Outdoors. Ray Scott Outdoors. I bet I had a sip of one of those. All right, fourth place in Bloody Marys is Q the Music. Q the Music. <laughs> no, I, I left that to them. I just had a beer. I'm good. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't do blood. I don't do tomatoes. All right, third place, Bloody Marys, Rescue Smokers. Oh, good job. 
I think I've seen them the turn in on that. They, they really had a really pretty presentation. Uh, they, they get some extra. Second place, Bloody Mary's Hangover Healer. Well, uh, I guess they've got some expertise. And I have to, I have to brag here. This is one of our local people here, and um, I talked her into coming and doing the Bloody Marys, and I'm happy to see that that she's she's in there. First place, Bloody Marys, we cooking. We cooking. That'd be the only call we get, what the ladies got. <laughs> All right, now for right. the big money stuff. Here we go. Everybody knows we paid the same for brisket and chicken. Did everything the same as all the other meat categories. So first place is getting 500. Second place is 250. Third is 125. Fourth is 75. And fifth is 25. We're going to start on chicken from 10th through 6th. Come on up. Okay, folks, we're getting into the main cooking categories now, 10 through 6. Uh, we'll be out of the money, but they'll be in you know, the top 10 out of 60 teams, of course, and then uh, uh, the top 5 will be in the money. All right, 10th place chicken, Smoking Willie Squealers. <laughs> Ninth place chicken, Flying Swine Smokers. Okay, seventh place chicken. All right, eighth place chicken, the Barbecue Doctor. I tell you one thing while I'm thinking about it, because I meant to do it a minute ago. This gentleman that is walking up for the barbecue doctor, y'all need to thank him for your power. He has been out here Wednesday, Thursday, all weekend. He's cooked and he has brought all these generators. He's got everything set up and he is taking care of it. So wow. Philip, thank you very much. That's amazing. Thank you. That's amazing. All right. I think seventh place, chicken, Bubba Grills. Bubba Grills. Sixth place, chicken, Pop and Chubby. Lonnie, you better hurry. You're out, you're out ahead of a Pop and Chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't quite know what to say about that remark. <laughs> did you get that one? <laughs> Rod, did you hear what he said? All right, fifth place in chicken. Kudzu Q. All right, Kudzu Q is in the money. And fourth place in chicken, Rescue Smokers. Oh, Rescue Smokers, good job. Now it gets a little tricky. We had a three-way tie for first place in chicken. So we broke it down. We did tiebreakers. We've got everything straightened out. Third place went to Dixie Q. smokers. We meant to do an interview with Cutsy Smokers, we didn't get around to it, but now we've got the best interview, and that's, they went up and won and got a check. All right, second place in chicken, DW Country Cookers. DW Country Cookers, second place in chicken in Perry, Georgia. Okay, they, they took second place in margaritas too. 
trophies going on over here. We don't shake around here. Now, now the top three folks, uh, it, no, yeah, that's wrong. People. The chicken, they did not final. Chicken was not a final. Uh, that's Foy is one of these that I drug in here, and I would not give him a break until he was signed up and on my sheet and here. It paid off, didn't it? First place chicken, $500. All right, on brisket, 10th place, Lang Smokers. Lang Smokers. Lang Smokers. Ninth place, Dixie Q. Eighth place, Hicktown Hoss. Seventh place, DW's Country Cookers. I know three fellows just need to stay by the stage. And Stu, if you were six through tenth and you did not get a ribbon with your certificate, see me afterwards. I have you one here. I forgot to bring them out. Uh oh. What? what? We cooking. Fifth place brisket, flaming butts. Fourth place brisket, Aunt Mary's barbecue brigade. That's Baxter Wood. Baxter Wood, who won margaritas. Okay, now these are all the, uh-oh, there he is, Mike Girardi. There he goes. Aunt Mary's, uh-oh. Did Mike win brisket? See, he's a sleeper man. to get the camera at that point. He was ready to talk about barbecue. <laughs> he is. Robbie Royal, first place in brisket at the Perry, Georgia barbecue competition. Good job, Robbie. Took third place at the National Barbecue Cup. Uh, was the 2010 GBA Champion of the Year. And uh, he's going up to get his big trophy now, folks. And uh, you know, when you come out here, it's not easy. Uh, you know, this trophy that he's got here is a combination of uh, you know, a lot of years work, a lot of hard. All right, 
Uh, now let's get to the GBA category. What do you want to start? All right, now we're in the championship competitions, the three, the, the pork loin. And All right, we're going to start with pork loin. Tenth place, Sunset Smokers. Ninth place, Smoking 42 Barbecue. Eighth place, Smoking the Good Stuff. Oh, you ain't heard nothing yet. Just stay right there, they're going to bring it down to you. A lot of congratulations, a lot of camaraderie. People sticking together even if they took down the other All right, seventh place pork loin, Heavenly Hug. Uh oh, got a bunch of children here. Did you get all that, Daryl? Yeah. <laughs> Sixth place pork loin, LJ Smoking. Fifth place pork loin, Dixie Davis Cookers. Oh, well, at least we got place. The mayor of Perry's getting a workout. Everybody turn around and look down. All right, fourth place pork loin, Aunt Mary's Barbecue Brigade. Wow, wow. Baxter's. See, My sometimes Baxter's it pays off when you actually go cook. You know they've walked in every single category. Yeah, you Baxter's Original Wood uh, is down there in the lower part of Georgia, and it carries 22 favors of wood. It's got pecan, peach, uh, I mean, walnut, it's even got that uh, wood. All right, third place for coin, Flying Swine Smokers. Flying Swine Smokers. Second place for coin, DW's Country Cookers. DW's Country Cookers. And first place for coin, Smoking Hoss. Smoking Hoss. Oh, some fellas again. Okay, there goes some fellas I sit on the stay by the stage. They're going back up again, took second place. And there's the first place pork loin coming right there. And uh, congratulations to them. Uh, now, you know, uh, I'd like to point out something here. Is that, uh, uh, you know, it's not the same teams winning all the time. Nobody even expected these guys to even place. And uh, it says something. It says something good about their judging when people that you didn't even expect all of a sudden, boom, take the top three. And uh, it sends a clear message, you know. <clears throat> They're doing things right. All right, I'm going to go on and start on pull port while they're finishing the pitchers. Tenth place, Holy Smokes. Good job, guys. Thank you. Ninth right. place, Dixie Q. <clears throat> Eighth place, Heavenly Hawk. Get him! Get him! Yeah, there's about five kids out here that are uh, camped out right, right beside me. Ninth and, uh, place. Uh, they get excited. They're not standing here. Oh, there's Holy Dixie Smoke. Dixie Q is ninth place. Yeah. Oh, up there. Holy Smokes is there. He's got his two children okay. with him. Seventh place, pulled pork. Sauce Hog Smoke Shack. Sixth place, cue the music. Cue the music. All right, we got another walk for the fellow that uh, 
Uh, we went by and seen him on the radio show last night, and I talked to him for just a second, uh, a minute ago. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Sixth place, excuse me, fifth place, Ray Scott Outdoors Barbecue. Ray Scott Outdoors Barbecue. Took a fifth place. Now we're hoping Lang will get a fourth, so he'll get some kind fourth of Fourth place, DW's Country Cookers. Oh, DW. They're walking every time. Third place, Law Dog Barbecue. <laughs> Them boys, they need to stay by the stage, DW, huh? <laughs> Uh, they said no, they're about to go to sleep. They haven't got up in quite a while. Um, <laughs> oh. Good job, good job. What about that dirt? What about that dirt? All right, second place pulled for <laughs> Smoking Hose. Smoking Hose. And first place pulled for Smoking 42 Barbecue. Smoking 42 Barbecue. First place. Uh oh, now. Uh, we got a fellow that uh, took second in the last category going up to take second again. So. Okay, we got the last category to go, which is ribs. And, uh, back, yeah, it's actually south of back there. about them all. If y'all got a first place, you need to come get a basket. <laughs> Folks, the judging's not cumulative, so we Ninth do not know place, the grand winner. Smart Cooking Crew! <laughs> Barbecue. They just turn around. Seven. Smoking swine barbecue. Six place ribs barbecue crew. Dixie Q. Dixie Q. Fourth place ribs, smoking Dillas. <laughs> Myra Vix's son, I believe that was him with the expletive. Uh, holy shit, there. There he is. Okay, so it's the other mixing that's All right, walking today, second place not, not uh, Mike. Crossroads Cookers yeah. 2. Uh-oh. 
once we get this done, I've got one other little thing up my sleeve, and then we're going to do grand in reserve. No? Well, no. All right, drum roll, folks. Reserve and grand champions, all we have left. Uh, only the teams that are finals are eligible for that. different to give it to. So we went to the opposite end of the element and we're going to present the fire pit to the team that had the lowest score of the day for ribs, pork loin, and pulled pork. A dead ass last. A dead ass last. <laughs> this, this is does not history mean that the they're making. necessarily the lowest thing <laughs> at all. No, it doesn't. Just today. Old Henry Barbecue. Oh, poor old Henry. He took dead ass laughs, but he's going to get a smoke ring for his trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good job. Uh, he's not too right. enthusiastic about so showing his face on camera. All he would not get on stage. Grand, huh? well, not really. well, we've got... One of our vendors who was actually here all day, Mr. Charles Guthrie, had a metal artwork place over here. And he actually made these trophies for Grand and Reserve. They are actually flying pigs. Um, we've also got a gift basket. The gift basket includes a knife set from Mad Cow Cuttery. It also includes a couple of different goodies and things from Suckle Busters and some of our other sponsors. Our reserve champion is Smoking 42 Barbecue. Wow, Smoking 42. They also get a check for $1,000. Check for $1,000. Smoking 42. Go dog. You sure? I don't need to check that again. <laughs> reserve grand champion. Reserve Grand Champion, Smoking 42 Barbecue. without giving it away, but it's only going to give it away to this one person. They pulled in here on Thursday night, and I told them that they were my first team to sign up here and to be here for Pigs and Wings. This team has never won a grand championship for GBA 
and they are the one of the most well-known teams we have. These guys, Mr. Joe looked at me and he said, Audrey, I might have been first on your list and I'm going to leave first when I leave here. And he dang sure did. Damn. Grand champion is Bethel Slapers. Mr. Joe, come on up. The greatest thing that could have happened today. <laughs> How about that? Bethel Smoker wins it all. <laughs> Bethel Smoker. Beth Bethel Smoker wins it all. Mr. Joe Wright. Mr. Joe Douglas, Wright, Georgia. Mr. Adam. Joe Wright out of Douglas, Georgia. Been cooking for all right, eight come on years. Now. Been close a lot of times. One of the most <laughs> well-liked people out here. He cooks KCBS, FBA, GBA. The greatest, one of the great ambassadors of barbecue. Right just appreciates barbecue and loves everybody out here. Bethel Smokers, great guy. Congratulations, wow, man. You know, guys. a couple of people talking about Bethel Smokers was out here. And, uh, and sure enough, they took the grand champion. And, uh, congratulations to them. And uh, they're up there receiving all their awards now. And we want to congratulate everybody. Who's oh, he's dancing. And, uh, uh, <laughs> all right, clear night, guys. Well, I really think, want to say thank y'all again. I hope everybody had a wonderful out? time. Yeah. Please plan on coming back next year. So Can't wait to do it again. <laughs> we get back in the community <laughs> Again, well, congratulations to everybody that, uh, uh oh, he's doing a little dance for us up here and, uh, uh, great event and, uh, uh great result. And, uh, we got, uh, we got score sheets, so, uh, everybody's wanting to know who, who did what overall and all that. And, uh, well, folks, we broadcasted live. We got it on a radio show that will be there forever. Uh, this will never be erased. Uh, go on the front of our website until Monday. It's 7 or 8 p.m. and uh, 8 p.m. And uh, this this will be on the front of the website, but you can also find it on iTunes. Uh, you can find it on uh, www.blogtalkradio backslash www.blogtalkradio.com backslash barbecue superstars. Uh, you can find it right there. It'll be there for the next uh, uh, 20 years, and uh, we're really appreciative to be able to broadcast live uh, a result for you, and uh, we hope that you enjoy it. And uh, if you want over $300, I need you to see me before you leave. Uh oh. Oh, if you went over three hundred dollars, you need to see Audrey. Uh, well, we didn't win three hundred dollars, so we're gonna haul out of here. <laughs> All right, if you want over three hundred dollars, you must see me before you leave here. If not, I will put a hold on the check. Oh, ooh! Hope she's got the money in the bank. Hey, we need Myra mixing up here. He'll straighten this out in just a minute. <laughs> Definitely. I told Joe the same. All right. Well, this is Daryl from Barbecue Super.